Hello, welcome and welcome back to the Big King family channel. Um, today, I will be doing one of the YouTubers that are doing a fabulous vision board for the year of 2020. Um, welcome to everybody who's new here and don't know our channel. What we do is hauls, family vlogs, and um, just a lot of pure fun and positivity on our channel. Thanks, thanks I want to give out to Fabulous Fatima. Her channel, it'll be, it's gonna pop right up to Fabulous Fatima for, for uh, opening up this uh, collab to other YouTubers and to myself. I'm really enjoying doing this. And to her co-host, Elsa, the bargain hunter for her um, assisting her with this uh, collab. So um, I really, I just really enjoy doing this one because it's really just uh, coming from the heart what I want to do in 2020. And then, so now I'm gonna get started on the board. The board is clear, but right now I'm going to border the board. Okay, YouTube, now that I have my border all done, it's not super perfect, but I got my border done on that. So now I will be putting the pieces on that I have cut out from magazines about just what I want to be in 2020. This is what I want to be. This is gonna be me. And I have just made this vision board. I watched a couple of videos on vision boards and I just really need to bring it and let it be, you know, Make it your own, as Fabulous Fatima said in her video. You, I need to make this my own. And this is just what I feel, you know. Lots of people say, you know, don't just use newspaper or magazine clippings. And I got my border. It's just my um, leftover Christmas paper. And it is just to um, definitely give a little color to it. So once I get my, um, my magazine clippings put forth, I can go forth with the next step of my vision board okay YouTube it is done my 2020 vision board is done I had a wonderful time making it yes I used first of all let me say thank you to fabulous a special thanks to fabulous Fatima and her channel for allowing me to um, be included in this collab. Second of all, I have never done a vision board, so this is a first time thing for me, but it may not be as glamorous, but it is definitely from my heart. Another thank you to Elsa, the bargain hunter, who has uh, definitely made me feel welcome and included in this fabulous, vision board of 2020 collab slash challenge uh, she gave me a little bit of insight on what I was going to be going on in the beginning before I was able to contact fabulous Fatima and then fabulous Fatima just put it all all the questions I had were in her uh, intro video um, inviting others to this collab so well thought out, well put together, ladies. I am so grateful to be a part of this. Next, you will see, as you can see, you can't really see all the words and stuff up close. I have numbers by each and every one of them. Um, I'm just going to explain out my vision board for 2020. Stay tuned. Hello. Hi, how are you? So, um... I'm here to explain. See, I did this in different sections, as you can tell. But um, I just got a Bible study. I'm, I'm very just excited about it. Okay, so now I'm here, and I'm going to just explain my vision board. Okay? So, first of all, we have number one, my own. For Timmy said, to make it your own. So, I cut this out of a um, magazine. It said, personal creation. Let's make memories. So what I'm going to do is make memories and you guys, YouTube, you're going to help make memories with me this year. I'm going to make memories and uh, this is my own personal creation. Uh, I did cut things out of a magazine, but I don't feel like that makes it any less. 
I had to pick out all of the uh, quotes and the different things that they, they're saying on the uh, magazine and the different pictures. I had to pick them out. So this is my own creation. So my own personal creation. I'm so proud of it also. And do you know what? And for, I'm going to be truthful about it. I'm a minimalist and I don't like a whole lot of stuff hanging around the house and stuff like that. So I started to just throw it away when I got done with it. But I truly want to keep my vision board until the next year. So number one, this is my own personal creation. Okay? Next, what really makes us happy? What really makes me happy is my family. Having less doing more and what i mean by having less is not to have a big car note a big mortgage payment a big boat note you know some people like to have those boats and and other different little trinkets like the four wheelers and the uh the four the four by four way you know it's a new thing that you can drive my uncle has one we get on it every time we go to arkansas but i don't need different things like that not saying that they shouldn't have them for all i know they pay cash for them but anything i i want i do i would like to pay cash for it but I ha if i have to finance it i will i really just basically want to have what i need so that my bills will stay low and then i will have less i have less and i won't have as many bills and then doing while all while doing more doing more with my family and being on youtube with my youtube friends and being able to just be out and about and a free spirit somewhat because i am real i focus a lot and i think a lot so it, i'm not necessarily a free spirit but and i like to stay busy but this right here i really want to work on that during the year of 2020 having less and i, I i'm already um decluttering and um, doing different things with my family I'm already kind of falling into that but I want to do more of that in the year of 2020 just having less but doing more with my family okay next um, this right here this picture is a picture of a mom and then I have a picture of a dad and then it says eat drink and be merry so this year I do want to spend more time with my husband he landed a job where he only has to work three days and then four days. He works uh, the weekend and then some, I mean, not the weekend, but they're, they're weekdays. And then some days, he and the next week he has to work four days because he has to work that Saturday. Three days, four days, three days, four days. So he, he has an ample amount of time off with this um, job that he just got not long ago. So I'm very thankful for that. So we have more time to spend together. The job I work, I only work three days a week. So that's awesome. We have much more time to just eat, drink, and be merry. I want me and my husband sincerely to get closer this year and closer to God and each other. So, while you're getting closer to God in a marriage, in order, just a little, a little tip. For a marriage to work, God, for a marriage to work, God must be and has to be the center of it, okay? So, both of you work toward uh, serving God and putting God first. And he will, he already works for you and not works for you, but blesses you because he just loves you anyway. But how much more will he do knowing that you worship him and that you, a little tip for a marriage to work, God, for a marriage to work, God must be and has to be the center of it. Okay. So both of you work toward uh, serving God and putting God first. And he will, he already works for you and not works for you, but blesses you because he just loves you anyway. But how much more will he do knowing that you worship him and that you um, are allowing him to, for his will to be done in your life. So while we're getting closer to God, I pray and my hope, and I know it's not a hope. I just know that me and my husband will get closer as we um, try and uh, get a closer relationship with the Lord. Okay. Number four, smile more. Unwrap big smiles. Okay? I think if I smile more when I see somebody, hi, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Are you doing all right today? All right. You know, sometimes just a smile and a hey really can make somebody else's day. So I really want to work on smiling more in 2020. Moving on, I don't want this to prolong too long. This one says spread the love. 
on this butter dish. It says spread love. And I truly want to spread more love to each and everybody. Spread love on YouTube. I want my channel to be positive. I want my family to be positive. And anybody who come around me to be able to feel that positivity and that love. Amen. So I just want to spread more love. Number six is over here, I think. Uh, righty. Yep. Um, this is about healthy eating. Shows an omelet there with some fruit and cheese and baked chicken, veggies, and rice, which is one of my favorite meals. So I definitely want to start eating well and I want to make it a lifestyle. Um, I'm starting to, me and my whole family, we're starting to try to eat lower carb, lower sodium, and lower sugar items. Not that it's just going to be like no, no carbs, no sugar, or whatever, or keep. Our keto or anything like that we are eating some keto products but uh, we just want to eat things with a better count with a lower count of sugar and carbs and sodium also because some of us uh, my husband you know he just with high blood pressure and then um, we just all, all want to just do better and be healthier in 2020 and I want to make that a lifestyle I don't want to just start off doing that and when I lose the pounds that I want to lose jump back on board and get the biggest cheeseburger I can find or whatever if I love cheeseburgers I'm gonna try to find a healthier way to eat cheeseburgers amen so, um, I just want to make eating healthy a lifestyle for me and my family and maybe encourage somebody else to start eating healthier. Okay? The next one, right here it says, make a date to update. Okay? Uh, and right here it says, in January 2021, I will be doing another vision board. But on top of that, I will do a video, Lord's willing. But I plan on doing it. I believe I will. In 2021 of Jan of January of 2021, I will update you guys and let you know if if these things just came in. A, I think most of these things already happened in my life, but I want it to be in more abundance, in more of an abundance in my life. And I will let you guys know if that came to pass in 2020. In next January, I'll let you guys know. Next, having balance in life is the thing I'm chasing along with the thrill of being busy okay tonight i was trying to tell my bible study class about that quote and it, it didn't come out exactly like that but having balance in your life and then all along with being busy and that is me all the way i do want to balance out my family balance out youtube balance out uh going to serve the lord balance out my job just balance out everything because really my husband and my children are two separate entities. I really feel like that. So I want to have time for my husband. Time for exactly like that. But having balance in your life. And then all along with being busy. And that is me all the way. I do want to balance out my family. Balance out YouTube. Balance out uh, going to serve the Lord. Balance out my job. Just balance out everything. Because really, my husband and my children are two separate entities. I really feel like that. So, I want to have time for my husband, time for my children. Like, um, time all together, as you see us all together and stuff. But really, my husband, he needs his alone time with me. And I need my alone time with him. So, uh, my husband, my children, my job, my church, and not to mention all of my brothers and sisters in Christ, my friends, and my YouTube friends. On top of that, there are lots of things going on in my life. I also sell on the side on Poshmark and Macari, which are just some apps that you can sell items to make extra change. You know, just, you know, try to keep the free streams income coming in. So, there's so many things that I need to balance out and... Right now, I'm just pretty much juggling all of them. Just whenever I have time to do one, I just try to do a little bit of it and, and to do another one. That's all I know to do. Yeah, Doodlebug, what is he doing? All right. Thank you, Doodlebug, for making your interest in the video. He always wants to be a part of the video. All right. So, I definitely, definitely, this is something I have a problem with. It's balancing my life. And then I do get a thrill out of being busy. So no matter what I drop, I always have something to replace it. Alrighty. Up here, make happy hour last longer. I just, I love being happy. I love being happy and enjoying life and doing things that makes me happy. Things that make me happy may not make you happy. Man, I love to, I love to do my YouTube video and, and talk to YouTube people. See their videos. And 
Man, I've learned so much just from watching other folks' videos. And then, couponing. Y'all know this one. That's my love. Being organized. Ooh, I love being organized. Um, my Poshmark and Macari store. I really want to develop them and make them bigger. Uh-uh. Um, uh move, move. All right. So, yeah. I just want to... I just want to um, be happy and do things that make me happy. Do whatever makes you happy. All right. And so that's everything, I think. I think I covered everything. But as you can see, I talked about everything. And then we covered this. Give joy. I was in a, I was in a missionary class at one time. And um, before you become a missionary in the church, you have to go through a class or whatnot. And... And um, the teacher that was teaching us, Pastor Gerald Lumpkins, he was teaching us. He taught us that joy meant, he, he just came up with an acronym for G, for joy, which was Jesus, others, yourself. So as long as you are telling others about Jesus' love, Jesus will take care of you. Okay? And then you want to have your life to be centered around God. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. And I just thank Fatima and Elsa again for letting me be a part of this collab. You guys, until next time, thank you and be blessed.